What's up, everybody? I'm your girl, Shay. I'm Malika. And we got a special guest. JMBS Dot. Straight out of Chicago, gonna keep it real. Just bring y'all a little bit of his music. He's an up upcoming artist in Chicago, Illinois. So, as Dot, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, uh, well, like you said, upcoming. Uh, you know, trying to balance it out, you know, with the with the business aspect of it. But you know, you got to stay with pressure of I ain't gonna get nowhere. Absolutely. How long you been doing this, as Dot? Uh, I actually been rapping all my damn life, but due to the fact of uh, streets and going back and forth to jail, you know how that sh how that play out. So it kind of stunted my growth a lot. So minor setback for a major comeback. Of course, yes. of course. So we gonna go ahead and get into this video. Um, can you introduce your video to us? Uh, this is Jam B S dot. This is one of my latest videos. It's kind of old though, but it's it's it's, it's uh, one of my latest. It's called On My Soul. One of my favorites, actually. All right, let's get into that. What? You know, I come off and shit, little bitch. So you saw me when I ran it up. When my homies got hit, I was like, shit, I'm gonna come at you and your man's is up. Police, they got on the whip. I just had slip. Let the window down and my hands was up. Made some dumbass decisions when I was a kid till it's dead. Young right. man, still man enough. I wanna go show you this side. I'm a monster. Stage dive, I'm gonna go find a slip this. Open up, show me your choppers. The whole world I'm gonna conquer. Hit both sides up. Your soul is gonna rise up. Two, three, you know he in line up. You know your time's up. My hand been cut two weeks. Think I need a line up. Bitch, who's a photo? Thick look, bitch, like Coco. Catch him like, why is you solo? Boy, we gonna chase you like you chase a hodo. Think you gonna get away, boy, you a dodo. Okay. Give me that bitch, I'm gonna up it and blow. Kill him, my homie, yeah, that was a no no. Got a little bitch up a tea. What? Skin color, same color, cup. All right, I gotta Nigga stop that because I'm just me. getting a little bit too excited. I'm too excited. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay. Tell us a little bit more about this. I like that video. Uh, that's uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. And then you know, uh, you know my homie Lil Nick in there. That's like the only time I really get to see him is in the video. So, you know, I like playing it just to see him. And you know, I just like the feel of the song. It's it's like bouncy, but kind of mellow, and I don't know. I, I, that's my favorite. Man, I like the flow in that, but a little, a little bit though. I ain't want. I don't want Malika. You probably look like why you two turned up. I'm from that side. That's where I come from. I oh, see yeah. all my people. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a nice. That's gonna be a, a club banger. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Immediately after the podcast, I'm going to listen to that. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. It's a it's a whole catalog after you listen to that. It's all type of other stuff on there. It's a bad. So quick question. What motivated you to start rapping and do you write or do you come off the top with it? I mean, due to the fact that uh my last when I was just in jail, I did five years. So I always been a writer because I always wanted to sit down and make sure it's patterned correctly. So I always been a writer. I'm still am a writer. You know, I punch in and stuff too, but I'm I'm a writer at heart. And, you know, my motivation just come from everyday life, you know, like really wanting to get heard. When I was in jail, I had the whole maximum security facility, you know, uh, knowing who I am on the rapping side. And so I'm like, all right, if I can have a whole compound in jail, mm. you know, these these people got killings and robberies and home invasion. If I can have them on my bandwagon, I know I can get out and do the same thing. Absolutely. That's right. That's, that's very motivation. Right there as that. Exactly. Yeah. And I got out and, you know, uh, you know, I had to train myself not to go immediately back to what I knew due to the fact of what I was trying to do. But, you know, that comes with uh, uh, a lot on the background side, you know, with the money and the business aspect. And, you know, I ain't nobody with no real big money. So, you know, it, it's a longer process. But it's okay. Your video is looking great. Like you said mm -hmm. before on your previous live, one hand washes another. So if you know exactly. someone who's good with cameras and producing and, and things and so forth and so forth, y'all can just network each other and like you did, you put out a video and you exactly. made a look at like that. So we're here to promote your video and we always looking to be promoted. But I did have a question for you. Um, what is the next upcoming project that you're, you're working on now that's going to be out? Uh, Well, this... Hold on, let me show my shirt. It's a... uh. It's a, it's a mixtape. It was called Planet Seven that I was working on months ago, but uh, you know when certain when certain things got to happening, you know I took a little break off and 
you know, it became kind of an afterthought. But lately, you know, I've been out my slump. So and the stuff I start putting together for the title of this mixtape, it makes better sense because the words and the, the word play, the, the, the sound of it, it's kind of out. It's kind of not from right here. So that's why I felt like I'd, I'd probably just bring it back. I see you doing a little um, smoking. So do you work better on the influence or off the influence? Uh, I work better off, like sober, nothing, because uh, I like smoking when I uh, work, when, when the process is going on. But like in the studio, I mean, I be, I be, I smoke in there, but I would rather be sober because it's, I, I, I process, it processes more with what I was trying to do before I came here. You know, when you get to drinking and smoking, the whole thing, you doing some whole other different stuff. So, right. you know, I'd rather be sober. Let me ask you a question: If you could collab with any Chicago artist right now, who would it be? Uh, it would be one of my favorite underground artists in Chicago right now. His name is uh Flat Guy Loco. Okay. Other than uh, I don't, uh, huh? We don't know him, but you can send him my way. Yeah, like I don't. I, I mean, I don't listen to a lot of industry. Like I live, I listen to a lot of Chicago, and I listen to a lot of uh a lot of underground, like who people don't know. But uh, a lot of they, a lot of them be trash. But he, 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 he nice. Cool, cool, cool. When, uh, when did you first hear his music? Did he motivate you in any type of way? Yeah, actually, he uh, we 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 got a lot of mutual friends and family, so. You know, I've been knowing him for a nice amount of years, but when I came home this time, this is when I found out, you know, he was doing music. And, you know, it's it's, it's actually good. It's, it's actually real good. So, and it ain't even just because it's, it's some buddy buddy stuff. He actually got some good music, though. You know, I got some few more homies rapping, like you said, my uh, uh homie Bobby Hill coming up here. And, you know, it's, it's some few more people who I, who I mess with on the rapping side, but right now on the underground side, he's my favorite. If you can go local with a famous um, rapper or artist, who would you like to collab with? Not even just rapping. Maybe she can do a hook, singing. Yeah, it would be, if I can do something of that nature, it would be with a more diverse artist. Okay. You know, like, uh, you know, the artists in my genre, you know, there'd be some good features in and, and give me some good recognition also. Mm -hmm. But when you tap into that different genre, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's that's like a different record in a mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Yeah, music then right there. Yeah, like you, you doing something like you, you know. Let's get back into this video and you know share with a little bit more viewers that's coming on here. Once okay. again, everybody, we got S Dot and he we're sharing a video called On My Soul. So so one after the scope like Ocho, put to your head, I ain't talking about a GoPro. Got a little bitch right around my finger, but I ain't gonna use like a yo-yo. Going back high, now we shooting at the low low. Yeah, niggas know I'm with beast. Yeah. Eat these beasts like beef. Yeah. And we ain't scratching no beef. We got your whole life on the leash. Yeah. Got this shit, good bitch, that's on my soul. I ain't never bitch, never touched my OG and she was cold. Yeah, nigga, you yeah, won't you right like that. I was just freezing in that cold. Yeah. She was too small, take the souls out. Lightning ain't ludicrous, banging that roll out. If it's for game, we get dangerous to roll out. Boy, I'm gonna snap, you gonna watch when it go down. Boy, I'm gonna hit you, I'm watching you go down. Ultra, like, watch how you blast till there's no round. Whoever cut it, they ain't gonna hit no sound. Yeah, how marbles they frozen. Boy, I be ballin' the rosin. Club better go up when we rollin'. Don't do no stupid, you know I got posin'. Where's the strippers, bitch? I bought the rosin. Ain't even talking about shit that I rode in. Now I'm on tour, let me get on the road. Damn, pockets stay fat, boy. New bitches on rosin. I move like I know voodoo. Dude, you act, I saw you on Hulu. That bitch fake, she remind me of Nunu. Boy, I'm on business, and me a no suit. Boy, your whole business too loose. You need to tighten it. And my screws loose, bitch, I ain't tighten them. And my low heavy bitch ain't no lightning, yeah. Wait, real nigga need a award. You got it, but you need more. Game just started, but we on the board. Boy, That's I right. Once you say real niggas need awards. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Give them to us. We need it, baby. He said he out here moving like he know voodoo. Did you hear him? <laughs> Give your friends in the background supporting yeah. you. Yeah, but see. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Niggas don't know about God damn it, you gotta take the soul out them shoes. Them bitches too small. You gotta figure out how you gonna get them bitches on and put on your shit. Cause you got the outfit. It's like the shoes, they just a little too small. You see what I'm saying? Now, how can you refer that 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 uh metaphor, the shoes too small, 
to like the rap industry or your friends? Have you ever just felt like where you at could be too small that you have to move yourself out? Do you feel like you forcing yourself into something? No, I feel like that every day. And that's the reason, you know, me and the main friends that I do get, that's why when we get together and we do talk, it's about elevation. It ain't about staying right here and doing this. Like, yeah, we can talk as much as we want, but until you start putting action in it, like you still gonna be right there. And it ain't no fact that I, if, if this becoming too small for me, like I ain't looking down on you, but this ain't just where I'm at right now. You see what I'm saying? So like you, you gotta figure it out. Do you? I never, I never like to think that I'm better than nobody, but I do like to say that I'm better than certain circumstances, if you could. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Do you, um, do you have any music that you do that you feel can uh, be resourceful to your community that might change some things, might save some lives? Do you, do you put out any music like that instead of just being about your everyday life, like it's killing going on? Do you yeah, share this through your music? Yeah, yeah, I got, uh, you know, songs where, you know, the versatility, it, it, it switched up a little bit on that level. Mm -hmm. But it's like, for the most part, like the, uh, you know, the newer music, I got something similar to that coming up. But, you know, it's still like that. But I try to advance it a little more for it won't sound just like, damn, this is what you're promoting or this is what you're like. Nah, that ain't what I'm doing. But, you know, that's what's on top of my brain and it's sound good coming out of my mouth. Does your ba I heard you earlier. You said my son, mm -hmm. you know, was in the background or whatnot. Does he yeah. listen to music? Yeah, he. Uh, my older son do. I got a. Uh, I got a nine year old and I got a uh, seven month old. Cool. Now my nine year old and my daughter. My daughter four. So my nine month. I mean my nine year old son and my daughter. That's all they play. Like they favorite. If, if before we end it, they favorite is War Vibes. Well, no, that's my daughter favorite. But my son, they they got all their favorites, but that's they they love it. How do you balance the family out with the music? Uh, once again, that's something that you know, as a as a as a grown individual, you know, that's when you got to figure out what you're dealing with and how you can do it. You know, cause it's it's a it's it's a tough balance, cause you know it's money involved, and you know you got to take care of family and home. Then you got to invest in your career, and you doing this struggling working an everyday job or hustling how you hustle or have you doing it you know what i'm saying so you know you just got to figure that out you got to figure that balance out it's possible so with so many things on your plate as dot family your rap career your your work you know working and everything else you got going on if you could say just a few words to motivate a black man right now rather he knows you don't know you like you if you could just say a few words to help a black man right now to motivate him, what would they be? No, just stay focused. Like I saw people who, even myself, who, you know, it felt like it'd never be right. But it's like, once you got that determination in, you know, you're a strong willed person. I know it's temptation on an everyday basis. Like every time you leave out the house or wake up, it's temptations with all type of stuff. So it's like, I don't know. You just, you, you just got to keep it together. Like, it, it, it might look like it won't work, but it, it might end up working for you. Are you spiritual or religious? Spiritual. That's good. So you believe in God? Yeah, I, 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 well, I believe in, I believe in the God. I believe in something. Okay. Like I can't pinpoint what it is, but it's like I don't see how nobody can pinpoint what it is until we, you know what I'm saying? But that's just. It's, 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 Does it keep? That, that's fine. It's fair. You. Yeah. You got anything else to ask him, Malika? Yeah, I just want to know, like, what keeps you, you other than your family? And, like, like what is this? What, what drives me is the, is, is, the, is the fact that I know it's something big that we all can grab and hold on to. Like, it ain't just this. I know it's something. Like, you know, when you leave out the house, you're looking down the street. Most people only looking at what they can see. Right. Not, not looking at what you can't see. Like, what the fuck is all the way down there that way? Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is that? Right. Absolutely. Going beyond measures. That's that's, yeah, you good. that's good. So we don't mean to try to take you off topic. I know, but you you shared enough about your music. But we it's brought you on a podcast because we want to see if you know talk about a lot of stuff that's going on for real. Like, for in sure. the community, you know, it's a lot of um. So a lot of stuff that was going on this past weekend. I did hear like a lot of the um, mass shootings um, that yeah. took place on the South Side. Um, just being a black man coming from Chicago, 
I mean, how does that really affect you? Do you see, like, do you consider it as senseless killing? What could you share to those people out there that are around, you know, at the wrong time or the wrong place? What advice can you give? I mean, you can't necessarily say when it's going to be the right or the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's so much going on to the fact that, I mean, it is scary, especially like when it's close to, you know, where you got family at or where your kids might stay or whatever the case is. So it's like, yeah, it's very, it's very senseless to the point that it's becoming like out of control with kids and, you know, going to gun violence, like it's super out of control. And it's like, yeah, you got everyday stuff that's been brewing since forever. And it's like, you know, it, it won't necessarily really be no peace, really, because all type of stuff already been going on, really. So it's like, OK, forget trying to uh, 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 stop the violence or help it or cease by whatever they got going on. Let me just stay out the way. Like whatever y'all got going on, I'm not coming to no functions. I'm not coming to no parks. And if I don't, who, who they, like I'm not doing it. So. Like, I mean, you know, people be knowing what they up against, especially us men, like yeah. with police and the racism, all type of stuff. Like, absolutely. You know, head above water. I was super excited to hear from you today. I'm so. Yeah. Oh, um, is that. Well, we about to switch this game up and have a little fun with him because I want to get some. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, sit me up there. Hold on. Hold on. What? Hey, hey, can I, hold on. Hold on. No, I hear you. I hear you. Um, I do see that you in love as that. Oh you man, like you see it? You all you talk about is eat booty. Come on, boy. <laughs> I'm saying, but if you are if, if if you a man who's been restricted of the uh the 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 beauty and irritating of a woman, like you see your girl walk out. I mean, that should pop up in any man, man. <laughs> <laughs> you want you? What you said, Lisa? Huh? I said you ain't wrong. You loving on the queen, that thing. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. And then you know, I I mean I, I don't consider myself ever doing good in a relationship. But it looked like you switched the game up. It looked like you real in love. All you oh, doing right. Emma, I, I, I surprised myself. So <laughs> you know, like, and that's another reason why you know I don't do a lot of miscellaneous stuff because I got a real family. You know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. real woman and kids, like. You know what I'm saying? That needs stuff. We need stuff. And so it's like, you know, you got to get yourself in order, love wise. Uh, you got to be happy, you know, in order for like, you know, your life to start going have it should, like you need to be happy. As that women, love love yes men. women love yes men. You a yes man? No, I ain't no yes man, but I am a yes man. Like explain that. How you a yes man, but you're not a yes man. Yeah, because certain people, yes man, is like somebody belittling them in a sense. Oh, like man. I ain't that yes man. Like yeah, I'm gonna do what my girl say. Are you a provider? Like you the yeah. head of that, right? Oh, for sure. I give her anything. Like whatever, whatever they need, they getting it. That's what's up. So yeah. are, are you looking? Are you looking forward to really being in a committed relationship with her? That maybe later on down the line you might can look forward into marriage because we don't see that a lot in our black communities. We see a lot of proposals but no weddings. Yeah, exactly, and. Like this, this another thing I be telling people. This is actually, you know, a dream girl of mine, like like a woman who I envisioned in my head and Look came it. out and got. You know, that's what make it so weird. You know what I'm saying? Well, it ain't weird, but you know. That's wow. What is your absolute favorite part of this? Like waking up to it, or just y'all conversations? Like as a man, what is it that you really enjoy about your woman? I mean, I don't want to sound soft as hell by saying everything. So I'm gonna get no break it up. He <laughs> like he's booty money. <laughs> now I'm like you can't possibly love everything, but like I'm a man, I'm a grown man, shit. Who like I love outside. Like I can sit in the house all day, like with my kids and my girl. Like it's peace. That's why I get my peace at. And one thing about me, like I'm big on peace. If if you disturb it in any type of way. The relationship might be over. I'm talking okay. about with like friends, okay. associates. If you disturb my shit at this point, you gone. Like I ain't even finna play with you. Okay. And on That's our last right. recording, I said that on our last video. Yeah, I don't and, play. And no backtracking. We don't miss nobody. That's, 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 right back. We don't miss nobody. Nobody. 
Father's Day be like the same plans what you know me and my girl do for Mother's Day. Like either we'll go out or I cook her something here, and you know we'll just enjoy ourselves. But like I said, I ain't big on going out. Like I don't like going out because I may not do it, but it's like anything can set off anything. Like nine days, and I be zero tolerance. Other people zero tolerance, so I just be trying to avoid the whole situation. Cool, yeah, yeah. that's good. But you know, we might go out and I'm cook here and you know, go ride and do something. We're gonna fi figure out something to do. But do you consider yourself a thug or a man? I mean, a man, but I mean, I ain't no bitch, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's like <laughs> they probably sense of that. My bad, I had to say it though, I couldn't have said that nothing else but that. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I'm a man at the end of the day, like at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, I'm a man, so it's like. Like, don't play with me. I ain't gonna play with you. Don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? So, keep right. it at that. I don't want to know. On YouTube, what platforms are you? Where are you? Like, for your rapping and everything. I'm on YouTube, uh, app, all platforms. You can type JamBS that on uh, all Apple. Uh, I mean, uh, all uh, 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 fucking the, uh, the uh, websites, Apple, uh, YouTube, <laughs> yeah, all that. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Do you got music with Ty Dolla Amazon? Oh, I thought you said Ty Dolla Sign. I was supposed to say, hell no, I don't got no song with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said on Amazon? Yeah. Yeah, I got music on there. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah, all platforms. So, but I'm finna... go ahead. Nah, I was finna, uh, I got all type of uh studio time, some set up today or whatnot, but I'm finna, you know, get back active in, you know. Put so my little body work right together. off your head, give us a freestyle. Let us see how talented you are. Oh, a freestyle right here? Right now, just on the scene. Since you come up off top, spit it no. to me. Spit your no. shit off your shit. Grab your click. Sweet <laughs> right one. I ain't got no click. <laughs> I, I said click. Oh, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> no, you know, you know, I'm a writer, man. On the freestyle in front of a million people. You know they might catch me up. So you, so you ain't gonna freestyle like that. No, nah, I'm, a, I'm a freestyler. Like in a now, now next time I'm a prep for a freestyle. Okay, okay, okay. I you so. so right now you, you just, you just, you thrown out because you already star chief and. Yeah. Like, oh man, you, I, I tried not to say it. I'm glad you caught on. <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. It's fine. That's yeah. fine. It's, it's, it's all love. But um, got hat, But next time, every time I come on this bitch, I'm prepared for whatever. All right, all right. We 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 looking for the next time. All right, back. Who rappers? You know, like um Andre three thousand, Big Boy, Pimp. Why you had to say him? And that's who everybody say I look like sometimes. Said. She look say Andre the first one. <laughs> you look like you saw me your shirt. I'm like, is that Andre? I mean, <laughs> From Outcast. <laughs> Girl, I don't see none of that. I that's what you. people. Hey, too many people. I said, nah, I ain't see it either. No, but no, that what you say, my bad. I ain't hear you. How do you feel about them? Like they music. No, nah, they music, they music, like they real hip hop artists. Like I love their music, but I'm more of a like a club bouncy type. Like I, I want to move in a sense, like all that tightly up quality, yeah, they raw and they the you know the elders and whatnot. But so let me ask you um your opinion on this because it is an Eve and a Trina rap verse battle coming up. Who would you listen to? Eve. You listen to Eve, but you Eve. just heard me with the bouncy music training. No, 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 because back in the day when Rough Riders Valiant One came out, that that was bouncy music like back then. Yeah, and I was in, I was fucking with Rough Riders then. Have you done any shows like at any local clubs in Chicago? Like, how can people like run into you on a regular with your performing or your upcoming shows? No, I uh I ain't do a show in a minute. The last show I did was with uh. Young Jock and uh, Lil Scrappy, where well, they was in the, uh, they was backstage and stuff. They came, it was like a little show, you know, or whatnot for us to, you know, with them. Uh, other than that, I ain't, I ain't did no shows in like, I want to say like a good year, because, you know, the shows ain't really, 
as important as important when you ain't got a name. Like it, it's important to go and get your name out and you know try to gain the other audience. But nine times out of ten, when you go to these little shows in the city, you only going as like a talent show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody just in there just finna rap and like you ain't really getting no exposure unless you going somewhere where you paying some money and you know some rappers there and you know whatnot. But like an unknown artist, the shows like they want you to have a name first. If you ain't got no name and no following. Like, you know, your music can be great, but like if these people want to stop putting this money into you, they want to see what you're following and how they can get their money back, how they can market you and all this and all that. Yeah. So, you know, the show is cool, but. I heard you say you you, know, you did a little time in the pen. Mm -hmm. While mm -hmm. you were there, did you read any books? And if so, was one of them uh, The 48 Laws of Power? You know what's crazy? I never read that book. That, I ain't, I ain't never, I, I skimmed through it, but. Shit, when I was in there, I was thinking that it I wasn't coming home for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I was I, I was reading or whatnot, and I was gaining my knowledge another way. Okay. You know, so uh you know, it was the experience that 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 helped me out for, you know, that I think helped me. Besides outside of the music that you're creating, the family that you you have and you love and provide for. What is something that you do every day that makes you happy? Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, it might it might sound strange, but like my my four or five, you know, my few homies that I got, you know, when I ain't with them, like I go get with them so we can talk about elevation. Like we getting together it is nothing that we should be doing. If we ain't going out chilling, whenever whenever we together, that's what we talking about. And, that makes me happy because you know I want to see all of us set up for the future. Mm -hmm. I agree. Are your is, my, uh -huh. is it like when you speak of it? Is it as a rapper, your your career, or like as a race, as a black man? So you know, was a little bit of both. Hold on, hold on. Can you say it from the beginning? I ain't hear you. My bad. Yeah. When you say um, your elevation, I want to know if it's your career. Or like as a, a race or as a man, or is it just a mixture of all of it? It's it's as a race. That's that's the first as a race, I would say. I mean it's as you, but it's like what we gotta think about was we once we gone is our children. Like I got two boys and a little girl, but main importantly, two boys that I'm raising and I know what's going on in the world with us men, you know, being what race we is and Ain't no telling what's to come 20, 30 years from now when, you know, my sons is grown and, you know, living their own little life. So it's like us as a race got to get better. But it's like, you know, you should want to wake up and elevate for yourself mentally anyway. Like that's supposed to, that should happen anyway. As soon as you open your eyes, like, all right, before I even leave out this house, like, what can I do today like that, that I can benefit from? Today? To be productive. That's, yeah. that's real king shit as that. Yeah, thank you. Yes, it is. So where did you get the name S dot from? I see all these type of letters. J M B S dot. What does that stand for? Well, it was it was it was S dot first. And S dot uh uh S dot it was an acronym when I was growing up. It's still for uh Sydney doing overtime when me and my cousin Jermaine, me and him was rapping. We in the attic, you know, we was rapping. That was our first group, you know, the uh dollar boys or whatnot, but it was like six of us. But uh it came from that, you know, my name's Sydney and, you know, doing overtime. We was in the attic. My homie had sent us some beats. We up there writing, 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 writing. Never went to a studio, never did nothing. We was just up there writing. And, you know, I came up with that. Like, I'm in there doing overtime. Like, that's what I felt was overtime. Like, I'm in here rapping like a mug and, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. But, you know, that's where it came from. But JMB, you know, came from, you know, my homie or whatnot. That's, that's good. So do you make a lot of music? Um for your 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 past your friends that are not living anymore, a lot of your music dedicated to them. Oh yeah, for sure. I try to uh keep their name alive in any way, cause you know it's you know real brotherhood. You see what I'm saying? Like I don't hang with nobody that you know I ain't got no real brotherhood with. So it's like you know things happen and you know they not here and they would be proud of the success or whatever I'm doing. Like I would have told them I'm doing a podcast, they would have been excited. Like I'm on. You know, uh, somewhere in New York, somewhere with Charlamagne, right. right? But you know, so you got to you got to keep your people name alive and you know whatever way possible. Yes, that's, 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 that's strong, man. Thank you. For that. Mm. I can't um, wait to start with you know, your other music, so we can like maybe have you on every Monday. Yeah. If 
Oh, uh, no. I'm yeah, we, we we can definitely do that. We can definitely do that. And uh, yeah, that music coming soon, like it's real good music. That's it. It, it should be soon in like a good month. It is, it is. So what do you see um, S dot in, in five years from now? Uh, I see S dot being more of a provider for what I got going on right now. Like having more than what we talking about right now and whatever house I'm in, I want to be in a better house. You know what I'm saying? And whether I make it with the music or not, I got family member who, you know, like it's, it's getting close with them on the music. So it's like, you know, my connection, it, it, it run a little deep. So it's like, all right, even if I don't make it, I know I'm gonna be solidified where I can provide more for my family. And, you know, be the man, like I'm gonna, you know, be up in age, I'm chilling. But ain't no such thing as if, because you know what you say out your mouth, you already speaking that to existence. So take the if out and just say, you know what S dot gonna be. S. Oh, yes. S. You know, for the music industry, are you gonna put out more, more C, uh, more albums? Are you gonna do more streaming music? Um, within the next five years, what do you see it really going for you? What pla what are you trying to set the goals for S dot? No, the goals that I that I'm definitely gonna say is my name being heard a little more, and you know as you putting your money into this, that's that's definitely what you should want to come out the deal. Like something, you know, the fruits of your labor, everybody want that. Like, give me what's mine. So yes, I definitely see myself with more music on the platform, better videos, better quality of music. And like when it comes to material, like albums and mixtapes, uh, I'm not really big. Like people, when you put out a mixtape, like I said, this come with the, when you got to get your following. You yeah. put out a large body of work, they don't really listen to it. You know, they listen, but they don't. But you come with a single, a nice mm -hmm. single that'll catch some attention, shoot a nice video, you know, and you can go about it like that. So I'm thinking more of that route. Like, you know, coming up with nice real songs, shooting the videos, and, like singles. Okay, okay. Do So what what examples do you set on a day-to-day -day basis for your daughter? Because I am big with fathers, with daughters. I think that that love should be totally different. I don't mean to single out like little boys not supposed to get love, but yeah. you just came off of you seem to so happy with this woman that you love it. So yeah. I she got she was brought up by the right the right person, you know, anywhere that was yeah. guidance for her. What are you doing to show your daughter what is a man supposed to be? How is a man supposed to treat a woman? What are you doing exercising that every day to her? I'm showing her every day. I'm in the house with her every day, showing her how to treat her mama and, you know, uh, you know the uh, the happiness or the peace that we supposed to have in the household amongst us. You know, like come out, open the doors, or I'm teaching you as a woman. You know, your mother, your mother already teaching you, and you already walking in her light. But it's like as a man, you know, I add that little extra umph in it. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you know, the same love that I give her mama, you know, it's gonna be triple, triple times that when it comes to her. So it's like she's seeing, she's seeing the example I'm setting on the day to day. Yeah. So it's like you know, I keep that up. Like you know, we we gonna turn out alright, and I'm trying to keep her away. Like I don't like the inner city, so we trying to keep the kids away from that. And, you know, y'all can play out here and chill and go to school and, you know, little night nice school. So that's the route for that. And, you know, she she definitely equipped and ready for it. Can we look forward to having an album cover with you and your whole family on it? Uh, mine, everybody, everybody, I mean, we, we can, no, probably just the baby. Just the baby? <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Why we no, can't I might, I might just put the baby on there. But no, I can put that. I can make the album cover. I can put, matter of fact, I can put them in the spread on the back. Yeah, that'll be nice. You know, take the old school with the CD with the spread on the back. I feel like oh. know about you, the more attracted to you they are. So if you have some aspects, or not even have, just keep certain aspects of your life like a secret. You mm -hmm. be more like they want to know more about you. Like, man, why is this person? You know what I mean? Is that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. On the cover, that's perfect because babies change every day. Yeah, yeah, whole time though. But the and they get and they get made every day. Yeah, <laughs> they do <laughs> sacred, sacred. So be careful how you put family out here. You know. Yeah, so you, know, you agree with the baby, but not the entire family. Yeah, I agree with the baby, but not the entire family. Why not the entire family? Because in what he's doing, his rap career, 
it's always going to be somebody that's jealous because he's spitting like they ain't spitting and he's getting all this recognition and they might not be getting it. They can create an op. And I'm and getting a target. A family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's good to think yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. And that's why you got to just keep them put up far away. That's what's up. So let me ask you some questions, though, to get up off this music. Um, Being in a neighborhood, because you said that you don't like your kids being in a city. Mm hmm what is it about the city you don't like that you want you don't want your kids being there? I mean, it's it's how out of control it's saying right now when it comes to and then when it comes with kids, it resonates a little different, you know. And 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 I just think like like even you know we grew up in and we came up in it. Yeah, we was equipped for it. Not saying they ain't equipped. They won't be equipped for it. But it's like when you understand, I didn't understand then. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like we jump in here first without understanding. So as a parent, when you grow older and you understand yeah. what they can be getting into or the possibilities, you be a little more worried. So, mm -hmm. you know, exactly. and then especially with what's going on now, you know, with the gun violence, with the kids, like how, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So just to ask you um, a little bit about yourself, what would be um, your favorite movie that you will watch on a regular that you enjoy, whether it's with the family or just yourself. What type of movies are you into? Anything with Martin. Martin. Yeah, Martin. I don't watch a lot of movies, but I I, I like Martin. I, I just like comedy type stuff, but he always been like my favorite comedian out of all of them. But like if I do watch, I'll be thinking about watching something with Martin. Martin. He's super talented. He's super yes, talented. He yeah, he, for sure. Um, he put a lot of people on. That's mad respect, mad love for him. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we thank you though for giving us a lot of your time today. Um, we know that you in love, so we can't ask you certain questions because we don't want to disrespect the message yeah. or create any problems. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, it's well. Like we come on here and ask, like, I mean, it's a podcast. No, we like, want to talk about all type of stuff, so <laughs> you have to mute that. This won't be our last time having you on. No, we not. It's no. It's definitely no, no, something was, something was going on in the back. I was trying to see. I muted myself to see what was going on. That's right. I said this won't be our last time having fun. I just um wish all the blessings that, you know, one man should have. And I wish you happiness. I wish you health, wealth, all of that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Same, same to you. Vice versa. Thank you. Black man for babies. Love on that woman if she's loving on you. Change the game up, Cindy. Uh, as that, I'm sorry, when your name changes, you changes the game. For sure. So we always looking to hear from you. So before we let you go, we're going to play a little bit of that music. But thank you for tuning in to Let's Be Real. It was real talking to you and finding out about you. So back to On My Soul until next time. All right, y'all. All right, next time. Next time. Boy, I'm a ball like boys. All my niggas they hooks like cores. I'm a real nigga around the source. What? The end of that. And we out. It's been real, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>